Hey, 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 VGK fans. This is the Vegas Hockey Girls podcast for Thursday, December 28th, 2023, episode 38. I'm Colleen. I'm Andy. And we're sisters who have loved the Vegas Golden Knights since day F and one. Yep, all day, every day. Our goal with the podcast is to get you 100% up to date with all things VGK in 15 minutes or less. So here we go. So happy New Year, VGK family. Uh, have a great celebration for bringing in the 2024 New Year. Uh, we need everyone back in 2024 to cheer the Knights on to more victories. So be safe out there, right? Be safe, you guys, and happy New Year. Yeah, happy <laughs> New Year. Kiss a stranger. <laughs> I know. I'm like I'm thinking about it. I'm like, mm, no, I'm right. <laughs> All right, guess what? We just played our last game. Woo, we played the Los Angeles Kings in our barn, and guess what? We won. Oh, my God. Yay. We broke the four-game losing streak. Yay. You guys, I knew Thompson was going to do good during warm-ups when he didn't miss one puck. Yeah, he was serious. Um, so we won 3-2. to two. Whew, It was a close game. Yes, especially the last minute. I'm like, I swear to God, if we go into overtime... Like, and they did score, but they took the goal away because I think it was goalie interference. Yeah. So that was good. Anyway, injuries. Aiden Hill is still out with the lower body. Shea Theodore is out, and nobody knows until how long, but probably a few more weeks. Um, Carrier is out, and also tonight Ben Hutton is out. Uh, He left, I think it was in the second period, um, due to an upper body injury. So hopefully Ben Hutton is going to be okay. Um, Everybody needs to know as well, no team goes all season without injuries. I mean, it's totally common, so... Um, anyway, Logan Thompson was the goalie and Patera was on the bench. Um, the goal scores for Vegas Golden Knights was Jack Eichel, 30th goal in 2023. And everybody got free French fries if you go to McDonald's tomorrow and use their app. You don't even have to have gone to the game. There should be free French fries in there. Any size, they said. Um, uh, Michael Amadio uh, scored a goal. Fun fact of the night, Michael Amadio scored with his newborn daughter in attendance. It was her first VGK game Yay, ever. little baby. Yeah, isn't she Scotty? Yeah. Yeah. So Amadio scored, and also Carlson surpassed last year's goal with a total of 15 goals on the year. Last year, uh, he just surpassed that. And VGK joins Colorado, Tampa Bay Lightning as the only teams with three 15-goal scorers. Um, also, Marcheseau and Eichel are in that list. So, uh, do you know what they say? Where there's a will, there's a way. Yay, Willie. No, yeah, <laughs> Willie. What a game. Whew, that was one of those games where everybody's standing up at the end. Yeah. And me and my sister are so short, we can't see anyway. So, we're like jumping, trying to watch. No, right. And they pulled their goalie and it was six on five. So, anyway. Uh, Vegas now has 49 points, same as the Canucks. Uh, we're in third in the league behind the Canucks, and number one is New York Rangers. Um, all three teams on top have 49 points, but their points percentage is higher. As I was telling you a couple podcasts ago, um, your points percentage is based on how many points were available for you to get and how many you got. So um, then we're number two in the Western Conference, tied with the Canucks, but they have a higher points percentage. So that would break the tie. But we're doing good, and we're number second in the Pacific Division. So we're right where we want to be. We just got to keep uh, winning, right? Yes. That was a good game. Yes, it was. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. Okay, upcoming events. So starting off with the Winter Classic, our next game is January 1st at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time on TNT, Sportsnet, and TVA Sports. Um, that's the Winter Classic game. It's Vegas's first Winter Classic participation uh, ever before, VGK is throwing a skate and watch party or just watch at City National Arena and watch the Winter Classic game on January 1st, 2024. This special watch party will feature appearances from the VGK cast, music, and a chance to win some special prizes. The Arsenal McKenzie River will be open for fans to purchase last-minute Winter Classic gear and order food and beverages. Fans are encouraged to pre-register as space is limited. Register on the City National website. Yay! Next, we have a meet and greet with Derek England at Finley Toyota, January 2nd from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. Awesome. Next, we have Healthcare Heroes Night, January 4th. Join the VGK for Healthcare Heroes Night on Thursday, January 4th. Visit the VGK official website to purchase tickets and get your healthcare swag. January 8th is Carly's birthday. He'll be 31. 
Happy birthday, Carl. <laughs> Yay. Far out. So Saturday, January 13th, 2024 is VGK Firefighter Appreciation Night versus the Calgary Flames. Go to the VGK website to buy special tickets that will include an exclusive Vegas Golden Knights Firefighter Tumblr. Oh, that's it. I have to go. <laughs> right. <exactly. laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> January 18th is Alex Petrangelo's birthday. He will be 34 years old. Yay. Law Enforcement Appreciation Night is Thursday, January 18th versus the New York Rangers. Visit the VGK website for more details. Another birthday, January 21st, Braden McNabber's birthday. He'll be 33. Aww. That's one of my favorite numbers. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, Kaden Korzak's birthday is January 29th, and he'll be 23. Aw, that was my favorite age ever. Mm. Yeah. That was a good one, huh? Yeah. The 2024 <laughs> NHL All-Star Game is in Toronto, Ontario, Canada on February 3rd, 2024. If you have an event that would like uh, you would like us to mention, let us know. Email us at VegasHockeyGirls at gmail.com. Awesome. So next section is called lingo. So what's a muffin? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> a muffin is a fluttering shot that spins or drifts in the air all the way to the net. It's also called a flutter ball. Flutter ball. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I learned this at the game tonight. He blew a tire. So it's, he blew a tire courtesy of Ian from Nashville. Were those guys great or what? Yeah, they were kids, but they were all into the game and they were teaching us lingo. Yeah. They, so they were, they were really cool. Thank, thank you, Ian, for, uh, pointing stuff out to us. So blew a tire means when a player loses their footing, kind of like when you're coming up to a turn and you're skating, you're trying to make the turn, try to make the turn and your skates are all the way on the edges and you're all tilted over to the right. And then you lose, you lose the traction and you slip and fall. That happened at the game tonight. They actually called us a penalty on that saying that we knocked some guy down when in fact he blew a tire. Oh man, the whole crowd was booing. Yeah, so then odd man rush. So it has nothing to do with an odd player, although there's many odd players in the NHL. An odd man rush is when the number of players heading into the offensive zone outnumbers the defensive players. For instance, three on two or two on one. Sometimes players refer to this as having the numbers, you know, like a breakaway and then it's two on one or what have you. That's an odd man rush. They say that a lot on the new, on the, um, when they're talking during the games. So a pigeon, Marc-Andre Fleury. I was just going to yeah. say that. Always, <laughs> That's they, funny. They were interviewing Marc-Andre Fleury, and they were telling him, what's one more word to describe? And they said somebody's name, and he said, a uh, pigeon. <laughs> so a pigeon is a player that consistently scores garbage goals. A road apple. A road apple is an old-school hockey term referring to a frozen horse manure that was used as a hockey puck. What? Yeah. Oh my god, that's funny. They don't have any pucks out there and they're going to make a sandwich, a little ball out of a horse manure. Yeah, really. <laughs> a snow shower. We saw a fight after this one time. This happened to us. A snow shower is when a hard charging player frustrated by a goalie save or unceremoniously sprays the goalie with ice shavings from his sudden deceleration in front of the net. It's always intentional. You know, it's like they make it snow. And I've seen people get beat up for that kind of stuff. A turtle. A turtle is when a player assumes the turtle position rather than fight. That's funny. Oh, that's cute. It's like though. the fetal position, you know? Yeah. And then lastly, a zebra. We know a zebra is a referee. There is a love-hate relationship that hockey players have with the zebes. Uh, one thing is for sure, it's a very underappreciated job. I know at the Fortress, whenever the uh, zebras come out to warm up, everybody just boos automatically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody, it, although a lot of fans think that they're on our side. Have I you think. seen that video of the people in the crowd, those two guys wearing referee oh, yeah. shirts? Yeah. yeah. They're cheering on the refs. <laughs> That's <laughs> that, crazy. Yeah. Um, okay, so cool. Next, Mandy has her section on the VGK record book. Today, out of the VGK record book, we are going to talk about the players with hat tricks during the playoffs, which are April 14th, 2019, Game 3, Mark Stone against San Jose, we won 6-3. to three. Yay. May 28, 2021, Game 7, Matias Janmark against Minnesota, we won 6-2. to two. Yeah. June 6, 2021, Game 4, Jonathan Marchessault against Colorado. We won 5-1. to one. 
May 14, 2023, Game 6, Jonathan Marchessault at Edmonton. We won 5-2. to two. And we all remember this hat trick extremely well. Yeah. <laughs> June 13th, 2023, game five. Mark Stone against Florida. We won nine to three and we won the cup. That was amazing. Oh, man, had, we, there hadn't been a hat trick in the Stanley Cup final for years and years. Everybody was going crazy. And I'm like, dude, we already have so many goals and we won nine to three. <laughs> That's amazing. So Marchie and Matthias Janmark, Mark Stone, and Mark Stone a couple times and Marchie a couple times. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> So I'm, I'm like, Marchie got one this year, too, in November, but it wasn't playoffs. So. Right. Well, thanks for that. This is good stuff for us to all learn. Um, so congratulations again to VGK Life 81 for winning the William Carlson patch. It was mailed today. So way to go. And where can people find you online? VGK goalie girl. Oh, yeah. Even at the game, everybody walks up to me. Hey, goalie girl. And I'm like, I don't know who you are. I know. But they all know me from this podcast, I guess, or me complaining on Twitter or something. I don't know. Right. <laughs> our, our podcast can be found. Vegas Hockey Girls podcast group on Facebook. Um, at Hockey Girls Pod on X and Instagram. You can email us at VegasHockeyGirls at gmail.com. Uh, see the show notes for links to all of our socials and watch for our contests on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, please share our podcast when you see it posted on social media. Thanks for helping us get our female voices out into the hockey world. Until next time, beat, beat the, the Kraken! I don't know why I like that name so much. Go Knights, go. Go Knights, go! Yeah. Hockey mode! <laughs> <laughs>